That guy's terrified of ginger people. Alright, hey guys, and welcome to Life is Strange 2, episode 5. This is part 4. Let's jump right in. The ending. The final part, the final chapter. Episode 5, Wolves of Life is Strange 2. Here we go. What does the, the 4th of July significance have? Like, is it going to be like some sort of like firework celebration and we're going to escape or something? Like, I feel like the 4th of July is going to play into it. Like, some them having a festival or there's going to be like a distraction or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Don't look at me. Yes, that's bien. See. Si. How come they never ended up teaching Daniel any Spanish? You'd think they would. Yo soy Diego. Mi... Mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es... Um... Her stomach. Es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Um, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Okay, so we go and take him, and then we can probably, yeah, get out again. I wonder how long they've been here, and why. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad, um, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan... Desesperadamente. Por las mismas razones que todos. No podemos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos podido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo. Oh, yeah. I'm not very good at multitasking, so I'm literally just like having to read it without talking. So that's kind of why I'm kind of being a bit on the quiet side to concentrate, I guess. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto, pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian, pero la gente también. En el camino, oh, encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, 
Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, n not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego, no, I am so fucking America tired. America is my home. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Okay, so this might be some sort of like social commentary or something. You're generalizing. Kind of random. Not all immigrants cause trouble. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Lots of them do. Our prisons are full. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. Our honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> that's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. Because of you. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? Take it easy. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale nada. Uh, whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too. <laughs> Loser. Loser. That guy's terrified of ginger people. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey! You have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. I'm still wondering if it's going to turn out that Sean has a secret power as well that he doesn't know about. That might just kind of come out at the end. Okay. Let's move it. Okay, we're gonna get interrogated. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood, but he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, if they just kept him with his hands behind his back, that's you weird since they have the coffee? fucking handcuff bar on the table. Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's alright. How exactly are they expecting us to break the fucking handcuffs? Oh, shit. Is it morning already? I haven't seen how am I gonna get myself out of this mess. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. What pulling it didn't work? It's fucking unbelievable. Okay, I guess we just wait. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? Dude, this episode is killing me. Like, this bit's kind of interesting. But because we've had, like, two hours of this kind of blah, like, up until this point, <laughs> we are now we're just sitting, waiting for a policeman to come back. Like, fuck, dude, come on. Like, what's the point in this? Okay, I guess until he comes back, we can just listen to the, the prisoners talk, I guess. So get your popcorn. 
If I have to come back here again, you're going to solitary. Got it? Oh. There you go. It's a big cup. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? No. Shit. Jenny's put something in it. That's a weird close up. Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Uh... More coffee. Nothing else to do, just waiting for this guy to fucking say something. At least it'll keep me up. Can we look at him and prompt him to say something? No. Jeez. Jeez, these are a lot of gray lines. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Vandalizing a motel room. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent <gasps> Flores. Flores, she's nice. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? Scared? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. You, on the other hand. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. They would take him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? That's so dumb. I'm a supervillain. Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. Can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen. Once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. And they have the CCTV camera now. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry.
Ooh, okay. Hey! Hey! This is Juan, bullshit! Get us out of here! Estoy aquí. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? No. Who are these people? Well, where's Diego and uh, Carla uh, what's she called? Diego. Just hugging. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail. For He's out for the count. How the fuck did you criminals get out, huh? Maddie, don't. Good thinking, Daniel. You think yeah, what about the one in our room? I killed him? No, no. He's okay. Okay, oh, hands up. Shit. Don't, right don't shoot. Hands up. Do not move. Wait, Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. Gotta find something to stop them. Yeah, the muck, dude. Down. Yeah, what's going on? They're dangerous. Be careful. The chair. We will shoot if we need to. What Understand? the fuck? Okay, they're just not turning around. Okay, what the do fuck? Something. Do not move. Don't do anything no. stupid. Crush them. Now. No. I don't want to kill them. I didn't want him to kill them. Right. Next plan. This is a throw that locker. I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. You had no choice. Kill was very drastic. Because no. like at this point, Let's yes, we're hurting them, Sean, but we I haven't killed anyone right and we technically haven't really done anything wrong still. You know? Hey, can we check hey, down here? Hey! What did you do? Your you backpack is in there, Sean. Murderous. Go get it! Hey! Let me open this! Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Look at that. Crime Central. I like how, like, during all this, he would just, like, take the time to, like, this. Wow, look at all this evidence they got in here, huh? You're not gonna hunt shit anymore. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Cool shades. I'd look really dumb wearing a pair of them. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger-happy people. There's probably more of them coming. Let's go. This'll be another collectible. Pretty good memory. From a pretty bad place. Come on, Sean! We gotta go! We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. Well, boy, I didn't think the door was just gonna be right there. Take it out, Daniel! Hiya! That was cool! Time to go. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all point bulletin for every unit in the area. Two prisoners. Both teenagers have escaped using violent force from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. If that's collectible six, there's only six in each episode, so that must mean that we're like pretty much near the fucking end of this one. I feel like we we're gonna have like another like two areas to like explore, but maybe not. Maybe this is like actually like getting to the conclusion now. Sean! It's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. I told you the fourth drive would play something into it. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. 
I know. He was so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, what are we gonna do? Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't... Flores, she's good. Like, make, she might be like our best hope for some kind of undead resolution here. You know that day in Seattle, the date Dad was shot, I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't. Waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Please. Don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? They're just gonna shoot us if we don't, so I think we should just get out. Mexico is stupid, it's a stupid plan, it has been from the start, I've said it's been stupid from the start. Although what if it works? <laughs> If we surrender and they take Daniel away, then I'm going to feel really bad if the border one has them being together, but I don't want... Wait, what if Daniel's when I get shot if we try and cross it? And how are we going to cross it exactly? Since there's like a police blockade, and you see how long it, u it took him to use his power, and that was when we like stood right in front of it and there was no police cars there. And this way, maybe this will teach him to use it for good and we don't turn him into a bad guy because that way surely he'd kill people he'd have to kill people for us to, for us to get through and then that would just make him all kind of fucked up so I think we're going to surrender Hi I think their story ends right here Here? But I, I could. I get it. That's not who we are. Exactly. We're not criminals. 
we're just kids. And we still have time to choose what life we want to live. You're my brother. And I love you. I... I love you too, Sean. It's gonna be all right. I promise. You promise? For real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just... Try and remember what I taught you. I mean... Only the good shit. I will. I swear. <laughs> On your knees! I said, on your knees, now! I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. Okay. He's ready. Sean! No! Sean! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Come okay. back! He's gonna be fine. Daniel! You're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never.
Okay guys, so there you have it, that is the ending of Life is Strange 2. Uh, Alright, a lot to unpack here. So, I think in terms of the actual ending itself, like I was going to say, oh it's quite good that it's kind of a happy ending. Although, as it was playing out, I was like, oh yeah, they're back together, you know, they both survived. But then once you actually get to the, the whole bit of him just breaking down, it's just kind of like, oh, he's just totally fucked, like, inside, and lost 15 years of his life, and that's, like, depressing. And at the same time, as and then after that, I was like, all right, well, at least Daniel, you know, he's, like, happy, and kind of Sean did his job as a brother to kind of help develop him and make him, like, look after himself and be his own person. But then he's kind of, like stressed about his brother at the end there as well and so yeah it's not even really a happy ending in terms of that overall nowhere near as good as the first game uh i think it would be hard for them to try but i'll be interested to see where a possible life is strange 3 would go in terms of if each series is just gonna have new people and maybe a bit of crossover like we saw with david which is a cool thing that i'll go on to later but yeah the superpower thing works as an idea but like implementing it in different ways will be like the kind of cool way for them to go forward with it i kind of get what a franchise of it would be now I'm kind of like a true detective more than like a long running like a walking dead we have like the same characters going on for like multiple things you know um, in terms of the best episodes, obviously episode 4 and 2 were by far my favourite. If I had to order it, I'd probably go 4, which was the cult thing, 2, which was the grandparents, and then we'd say 1, because that kind of introduced it, and you're kind of like, okay, I'm all, I'm all right with it being kind of slow, because it's going to introduce us into like what's happening. And then we'd go for 3, which was the shitty weed farm thing, and then five, which was that one, because it was literally like an hour and a half of shitty, sandy trailer park with random people that you don't care about other than David I was interested in. But if you didn't have any experience with the first game, I don't think you'd give a shit. Uh, so for me, that was cool to kind of get some kind of follow up to the first game, which was one of my favorite games of all time. But other than that, it just kind of looking back, it was an utter waste of time. I think you guys will probably agree as well. Like nothing happened and it was stupid. And then you have like half an hour to an hour of like a rushed kind of feeling ending. Like they had an idea, but they were like, oh, how can we make a whole episode out of this? And they were like, we can't. So we'll just add in the whole Sandy trail park thing and that'll fill up like half the space. So yeah, if you're going to play any of these, I would definitely say play episode four. And it's funny because at the start I was saying I wonder how long this one will be. Because uh, the other ones were around like three hours. It was like three hours five to three hours 18 I think was like the general in the, in that area. And this one was two and a half hours. So even with all the kind of bullshit they kind of crammed in with the, the trailer thing. They still couldn't make it like as long as the other one. So I, I feel like this one was kind of a last. They had like the idea of the surrender or cross. And maybe the police station thing but that was like half an hour worth of <laughs> of time and they didn't know what else to do for the thing so they kind of just pulled out the ross as you can kind of tell um so yeah not really like disappointed honestly with this last one it's kind of just sucked i think overall it's probably like a two and a half out of five game for me because the lows were like low and boring although the hits which were rare i think I, th I think as good as it was, it doesn't make up for the rest of it being so kind of meh. Well, not the rest of it, but a lot of it was kind of lackluster, in my opinion. If, without the fourth episode, if, if they'd have been like as kind of meh as some of the other ones, then I would probably not even recommend it. I just think that was such a great... That, like, that, on its, that was so great, in my opinion. Like, that was so fun and interesting and a cool shift from where it been going before which i think made it stand out even more and i'm just really sad that they couldn't follow it up with this one and make it like a real like home run like okay it kind of started off slow but if this one had been like 
not even great, but like good or really good, then you would have like that kind of upward trajectory. Uh, well, other than the third episode, the upward trajectory of like, oh shit, okay, they had a game plan, they were ramping it up, and that would have worked. But I think they just kind of, it kind of fell off a cliff or a canyon in this case. Sean, by the end of it, I think was kind of relatable in that he was like young and he had to kind of deal with this situation that he just got put in himself and he, while he's trying to kind of raise his younger brother. That whole thing was good, their relationship worked. The voice acting at the time was kind of weird, but overall I'd say very good. The story overall I'd say was decent and there were some real high points in there which I've already discussed, but there were also some real low points. So yeah, unfortunate that it kind of plateaued out and kind of died at the end. But yeah, and a kind of awkward, weird kind of ending where no one's really happy and it's kind of just sad. So I imagine in the Cross the Border one, I was thinking at first that they were just gonna like die, you know? But now I'm thinking, what if actually they like got through and then it's like a happy ending? Whereas that one was like kind of sad because he got fucking arrested for 15 years and came out and was like emotionally damaged and it kind of affected his brother even when he came out and it was kind of like an all-round sad like kind of depressing thing so if they don't get shot which i was kind of expecting if they go over the border then it might in fact be a happy ending and that could be the one that we were probably meant to do to give us a happier ending so yeah disappointed with this one the ending that we got was kind of good but kind of weird and kind of i felt like there was something missing but i couldn't quite put my finger on it i felt like it was lacking in something i know that's a terrible analysis and what do you think of the ending i'm going to play the other ending for you guys after i'm done talking here and i'll shut up for the whole rest of the video but yeah what do, you, what do you think of that as like an ending after everything we've been through like you may as well just handed yourself in in the first place but i don't know maybe that's just me all right, anyway, I've babbled on for way too long. Everyone will have left by now anyway. But if you are still here, then like, just tell me what you thought of the game overall and what you thought of that ending. And tell me which episode was your favourite. Because even if it's not the fourth one, I'm just interested to see which one you guys thought was uh, the coolest one, you know? All right, okay, I'm done talking. That's it. Uh, overall, disappointed. Didn't live up to the first one. But it would have been really fucking hard-pressed to have managed to. So I'm kind of glad they went off in their own direction. Okay, now I'm done. I mumbled way too long. Thanks for staying with it if you got this far. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the second ending and choose the cross the border option for you guys to see what the other outcome would have been. I've been Nick's Plays. That was Life is Strange 2, episode 5. Thank you for watching this episode or as many episodes as you have watched. If you've watched the whole thing and come on the journey with me, then I really appreciate it because that's been like, what, like 20 plus maybe episodes? That's a whole shit ton of episodes to join me on there's been a lot of ups and a lot of downs but i've had a lot of fun playing through it and hopefully you guys have had some fun joining me on the journey too so all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching stay awesome and i'll see you guys next time for the next game whatever that may be that was life is strange 2 and this is nukes plays signing out thanks a lot and see you next time guys so how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? They make it to the other side. Huh? What? You sure? Trust me, okay? Just get us through. Hold on tight. Oh, I don't wanna. I'm not hurting anyone else. Sean, over the fire. Fire. It's too late. They're shooting at us, Daniel. This is the only way. I'm sorry, Sean. But I have to go. What? What are you talking about? Don't turn back for me.
hope you'll be happy in Mexico.